Buddy, today I'm going to be talking through a common Excel problem when you're looking at a table of data and you want to pull out an exact match against multiple vertical criteria and multiple horizontal criteria and particularly if I've got an approximate date and I want to pull out the latest payment date relating to that approximate date. So the first thing here, I've set up a little table of data. So we've got, it looks like some wage data. So we've got four different employees across two different departments so far. And we're going to have a look at an approximate date match for that and pull out what's the latest date relative to the approximate date that we give. So if you have a look here, for example, John goes from blue department down to the next quarter. He's got red department and then again blue now the other problem is it looks like all the date data is out of order. So in order to do this, first we're going to set up the lookup example. Now using the dynamic arrays, there's a neat little function, unique, and basically that's going to have a look at an entire list and pull out all the unique characters from that. So if I go across here and I pull out a few uniques for our two horizontal lists, we're going to pull out the list for what our different departments are and what our different names are we're dealing with. Now the interesting thing is we can also have a look at a unique across rows of data. So if I go unique and I go by array it's going to come back but watch what happens it's going to come back across the screen. So simply to fix that we're going to go transpose there and that's going to pull our data down and in the unique formula we're going to go comma because the next one is by column and we're going to hit in true and that's going to pull it across by the columns and give us our unique formula range in the columns so we're just pulling out salary and commission there and then I'll do the same across here for our budget and actual so there we've got four nice little lists now in terms of putting them into a data validation concept very quick and simple to do all we've got to go is into our data validation in the data tab, hit list, hit what source we're looking at. So this one we're looking at departments. So we're going to go here and we're going to go hashtag because hashtag is going to pull out the entire array of the formula that we're using. So if I go OK, look at that, beautiful. Now if I go down here and say we'll have a look at Frank in his second, second round of wages there, let's add in a green department and see what happens. And look at that, our list automatically updates. And if we remove green department and put this to put this to blue, it's going to remove that out of our list and remove that out of our data validation list. So a very powerful sort of tool here. So if we go down now and I want to pull out, hmm, I want to look at red department. I want to look at John's wages and red department. I want to look at his salary or commission. So hmm, let's have a look at his salary. And I want to have a look at the actual salary. And then let's give it an approximate date here. So let's say 31 July 2020. Now a neat little way to get all your dates to get that nice formatting there is Control shift 3 and it will reformat all your dates. So now this is a very unique example. And what we're going to use today in order to figure it all out is we're going to use the filter function. Now the filter function is going to filter out exactly what data we want to look at in this table, this array, and then we're going to be able to compare it against our approximate date match. So usually when you use a VLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP or an index match, you're just looking across your data. What you can do is you can have a look at the binary outcomes. So you can have a look and say if this array equals John, we're going to turn it into ones the rest will go zero and same for the department and what that will do is it will match the two criteria and pull out what row you're looking at but when dealing with multiple multiple dates and everything we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pull out an exact one here and what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna have a look at using filter so for this one I'm gonna go filter I'm gonna look at my array and I'm gonna include and this is where you get you use your binary outcomes is I'm going to have a look at all our names and if they equal the name that I select here times that by our departments and if they equal the department we select then it's going to pull out our array and there we go we've got John and then if we change it to his blue department we get two and the beautiful thing about this is because we're doing all of this when we want to have a look at array 
we go that little hashtag symbol and that will translate that for our entire formula. Now the